Hi everybody, it's Dee here. Um, I'm trying to catch up with all the stuff that I've not managed to finish. Um, so here's another one that I, I've done and completed now. This is Harry Potter, The School Years. Tied with a beautiful uh, fabric that Melissa sent to me and I'm really grateful. Thank you. It was a beautiful rack. So I've used that little piece on here. There we go. Right, so front cover. A tiny little spider down there. Flying keys, obviously, if you're a Harry Potter fan, you know what that means. And we have a corset binding. This huge um, chain of trinkets and that's the back of the book okay right so on the front here we also we've got these on the front and the back two silver metal corner pieces I hope you can all see is that better do you think hopefully Right, uh, so there's, there's metal corners on the front and the back. I wanted to keep it nice and light and airy on the front. And uh, I'm quite pleased with that result, I must admit. So inside front cover, we've just got an envelope. Nothing in that, that's for somebody to add something to it. And then we have another envelope there. And... One of these tags. I've not put loads of frippery as I call it in because I love these and I've actually used the buckle as um, the sticky up bit that you would normally use your um, washi tapes and what have you for but I've used these on here. <coughs> Excuse me. On here there's just some a nice little piece of fabric, a couple of stars, and I've put an earring in for her to match her gown. A couple of tiny tags there. And another envelope. And a bit of a, a pen, shall we say. This is just a, a belly band. So that's that page. Yeah, it's the belly band. Okay, so journaling card there. I love the papers on this. I do. I love them. And um, what I've done is what I always do. I've been very eclectic, and I've got loads of different things together, and then made the book. I don't know how you do, but that's how I do it. On here, I just want to point out my little. Um, they're actually leaf skeletons but I thought they went really well on the Cornwall Pixies wings and uh, I think they've you know they've, they've added a little bit of interest to it and then I've added that as well another envelope and a bit of a larger tag there and just a couple of messages on it I like reading off other people so that's why I like to add them into mine Unicorn, because would it be Harry Potter without a magic unicorn? A couple of, um, a, well, a banner and a little message there. And then we've got two more journaling tags. Obviously, when you take them out, you've got all the paper behind it to write on as well. Ooh, hold them out. I've added this in here. And just a little stamp there that I got recently. I've used um, a platform ticket as the tuck spot. And then we've got two journaling cards. Oh, I'm going to take that out and I'm going to replace that. Two journaling cards there. And here, just another journaling card. Right, why is that not folding down? There we go, that's better. Right, another one here. I love this page. 
I love the colours on it. I think it's brilliant. And I want some butter beer because I love butter. A couple of um, bottles that I've put on there as well. Room for a, a journal card or a tag there. Just added these on here. I just love the yellows and the the oranges. So there we go with that. Chocolate frog nuts. There's a shortage of them. Who'd have guessed? Another envelope. And another tag. There's loads and loads of tags throughout this. Another one. I've added that. <clears throat> Excuse me. And obviously I've added them as well. I do like to leave quite a lot of journaling space and pages in my journals. Because at the end of the day, it's a journal. So that's the way I like to do them. That's been used as the tuck spot there. And we have... Oh, an envelope. The chocolate cockroach. No, thank you, but whatever floats your boat. So they live in there. Another one here. And this is a bag. This is in the central reservation of this. I didn't like, because this was the very first... Um, corset spine that I tried and I didn't like the way it was spaced out because um, obviously when you're first starting you do it as they say to do it um, so I've added a bag in the middle of it so one two then we've got that one um, that is glued down on that as is this one and then we have that side as well. Um, this has been um, done with decoupage gloss. I like that page. There's one in there and then that opens out a wee bit more. Just added a couple of little bits in this fab. So funny. We have one, two, three. All in that belly band. I've left that one. <laughs> just because I love it. And there's just a little... Um, and a little note, look, here. That's in there. Neville, that was my father's name, that. There's that one. And there's that one. Obviously, I've cut... I've printed pages um, off that I didn't really need extra pages so that I could do things like just cut out little pieces. This is... <laughs> it's got to be in one of mine, hasn't it? Uh, washi tape tickets, which I quite like. This opens out a little. I've only added that onto there because we've got a few things in here. So we've got the chocolate frog, candy corn, and another envelope. I think it's nice and colourful, this one. Sometimes you get a wee bit fed up with all the dark and dingy stuff, don't you? Right. This is just a, um, the top off one of the pages uh, that I wanted. And I've cut that out of a different page. And then I've just added some teeny... It's on there as well. I'll get rid of both of them and do them again. Uh, just added that on there. On here we've got... Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? So we've got that envelope and another little journaling card there, or tag. <coughs> Excuse me. So behind this one we've got the witch and we've got 
a tag. So we've got a journaling card and a tag in there. And behind the frog nut shortage, we've got the Superstition District ticket. This one behind here, plenty of room on this. You'll find out what this is about soon. Just added some stickers onto this one. I, I did this on purpose, but I'm not telling you about it so we get to the page. That one in there, there's loads of tuck spots and everything else. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, so I did this on purpose. I got a baby wipe and I just left it on a couple of the pages for a couple of hours. And then when I went back, I'd got all this wonderful marbling, if you like, and I've added. 100 lines, I must not spill chemicals on my book. Uh, and that was my idea behind that. I thought it was, you know, quite an interest. It was an added interest to it. Um, Ron, we've got another one of these little tags. And behind this one, we've got a savings bond. Now we're on to the back page the back inside cover should I say and we've got a belly band made out of met sorry made out of the crystal gazer banner and then I've just added those two behind that we have the superstition district and the platform ticket this was practically finished i only needed to do a couple of hours on it so i'm really glad i've finished it now um here's our back page this has got a large journal card in it we've got the harry potter banner and of course he had to be on the back cover so that is my harry potter journal i hope you've enjoyed going through it with me Please stay safe, everybody, and take care. And uh, Love to you all. Hope to be on again soon. Bye for now. Bye.